hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to use this particular plugin called um, azimuth and distance so for you to install it you come to plugins manage and install plugins ensure you are connected to the internet and then you search for this particular plugin called um, azimuth and distance and then it's called azimuth and distance plugin and then you install it right good now when you install it it will help you to um maybe plot should i use that yeah it will help you to plot um a boundary or maybe plot using distances and bearings right good so another thing to note is that the coordinate reference system of your project is very important now before you proceed ensure that you set the coordinate reference system of your project to a projected system because normally you are going to use either meters or feet or maybe any other unit that is linear right good so you click on this we have the um, current crs right good when you click on it the project properties will come up when the project properties come up you see that the crs is um wgs 1984 right good so you are now going to select the um project crs that you want to use which is um, projected right good so for our case we are going to use um wgs84 utm zone 32 not right good so we click on that when we click on that we try to apply when we apply we click on ok so if you observe very well you see that the epsg code has also changed so just maybe rewind and then maybe just confirm that now having done that we are going to save this project so we come to project we go to save as good so we have navigated to a folder of choice under azimuth and distance and then let's call this um one right good so you can call it any project name right good so let's call this one it can be the project name can be the name of the client or the name of the project or whatever you want to call it so let's now save that now i won't save that one thing to note is that you can still see that the coordinate system at this point is wgs84 the reason why we want to take this out and bring it back in is because of this particular um option that is here because we want to see the coordinate system to reflect the coordinate system we have just what changed it to but since it has not been reflected we can decide to turn off qgs and then restart it right good now we are back to qgs so now let's open that project that we created so we go to project and then we select open you can see the project we created one right so you just double click or you select and then you open now we have our project that we created opened now let's launch the azimuth and distance plugin you would observe that the coordinate system has changed to wgs84 utm zone 32 it is at this point that i would advise you start your plotting right good now there are a few settings to note under the drawing you can leave it at a um, memory layer we are going to do that we are going to maybe make update to that very soon then um, the other parameters there can be left as default as they are you come to option maybe when you start the survey type will be under polar or radial you change it to boundary because it's something that I have to cover and extend right good and then the angle type if your angle is based on azimuth you select azimuth however if it is based on bearing you select bearing when it is bearing which means you are actually going directly from the north cumulatively as we have written it on the survey plan right good so then for the distance unit you can use default because um depending on the unit of the projected system you are using right good however if your unit is fit specifically you can select fit so in our own case we are using meters so let's leave it as the default unit then for the angle type you know it's always degree minute and seconds right good or it's mostly degree minute and seconds so you have the angle type to be degrees right good then um, for the not type you leave it as default not a uh, magnetic right good and then for the drawing 
the option here you can just leave it as default as it is so now let's come back to drawing now when we come back to drawing since the coordinate system we are having here is a projected one we can actually include a starting point that is a projected coordinate right good so if it were wgs84 without utm32 what you can insert here will just be latitude and longitude but since it is projected what you can insert can be what is thin and nothing right good so that's very important to note so you can decide to include or maybe yeah have your start point from a map maybe if there's any base map here that you want to select from it or you use last vertex or you type in the coordinate so for precision mostly on card it's better you type in the coordinate because it is believed that you would have gone to site to what to acquire the coordinate so for the x coordinate which is the eastern let's type the eastern coordinate then the nothing value is um now this is our um starting point now i will define the starting point we come down to the next vertex you know your plot or your boundary is um, a series of vertices right good connected because that's traverse right good connected with the distances and the bearings now what it will help us to this next vertex it will help us to define from this first point it will help us to define the next point using the bearing and the distance using the words the bearing and the distance that's where the name of the plugin comes in azimuth and what distance so let's take the bearing from that our first point according to the plot we have here the bearing is 24 degrees now your degrees will be indicated via space if you come to help you are going to see that angles may be entered as degrees clockwise from the north where you have degrees minute right good so you can use space right good to indicate it or you type d right good so for it to be easier we are using what space to separate our um to indicate our degrees and minutes so we have 24 degrees 54 minutes right good and then the distance between that our first point or the starting point to the next point is um 30.87 so we have known the distance, the bearing and the distance. So what we are going to do is that we are going to add to bottom. You see, it has been added to the list, right? Good. Now, another thing I have observed that um, you should also um, check is the arc direction. It might have little implication. However, it's important that you turn it on, which is actually selecting the clockwise direction. So you select clockwise, right? Good. So you want to believe that your plot is going in a clockwise direction now having done that you come it's believed that you have moved from the starting point to the next point using what this bearing and distance so you come again you populate another bearing so the next bearing is 115 degrees one minute right good and then the distance is um, about 16.55 right having done that we click on add to button right then um, we come again to the bearing to be 208 degrees 11 minutes and then the distance is um, 31.77 we add to button then the next bearing will be 298 12 with a distance of um, 14.77 then we add to button now at this point we are actually done with our plotting because our um, boundary contains four points from the starting to closing back to the starting right good now if you made a mistake you can use remove you select a particular line and then you use this remove button to what to remove that line so i won't fix that what we are going to do is that we are going to click on draw so you see now temporarily um it has drawn a point for us so we click it has drawn um, a plot rather for us so we click on ok good remember it was not on our screen so we right clicked and then we zoom to layer so this is actually what the plot 
right good so it's a scratch layer what you can do for yourself is to just save it as a, um, a permanent layer it's a temporary layer so you just what you save it as a permanent layer so you click on this we have the same scratch layer as you have what the s3 shape file or you can use autocad dxf right good or any other vector data formats that um, you have preferred to use so let's use them um, s3 shape file for the file name let's browse good so inside of our sss folder we have an um, shp so let's open that and then let's call this plot i haven't done that we can just save and then we click on ok so you can see it has been saved where we can make reference to it later now this is the um, boundary of um, this particular survey that was done which we have used azimuth and what distance to plot right good so before we leave let's verify we already have it plotted somewhere as an autocad file so we are going to overlay that autocad file on this particular um, plot that was used that was plotted using um, qgis good so you can see it here plan right good we open that up we add add layers and then we close so basically it's telling us unknown crs so we click on that we select wgs 34 utm zone 32 because that's the crs of the plot so it is believed to have navigated to where that particular plot is right good so i haven't done that you are going to see that if we turn off the first one which we have plotted here on qgis you would see that this new autocad file also overlays perfectly on that um on that particular area right good so what we have shown you on today's video is how to use this azimuth and distance plugin on qgis to plot your boundaries on QGIS. Subsequently, we are going to proceed to maybe showing you other features. However, this is a very good point to start to explore and then exploit all of the um, beautiful functionalities on this particular plugin. So we are going to see you on the next tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time. Bye.